Hey everybody, this is Greg Gossett from Gossett Trading and Mentoring, and today is Wednesday, June 26, 2024. Hey, I hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a good day. Um, had a really good example of a bearish order block on an intraday trade today that I made on the queues. And, uh, you know, I've had quite a few people write me lately, you know, uh, asking me how to short. And uh, uh, that's why I've been putting up more short trades during these daily videos. And actually last night I was uh, speaking with a good trading friend of mine and we were sharing the screen and uh, I was telling him about order blocks and uh, changing market structure and reshorting the, the, the rally after the market structure has broke. And so I thought this was a good uh, trade to share with you to kind of drive home some of those points. Um, Again, this is three minutes on the cues. You can see this red band here. So what is this red band? Well, this red band is an order block. So what's an order block? Well, you know, I could talk about this for hours, but essentially an order block is your highest up close bar before you break structure. What does it mean to break structure? Well, it means you have a high followed by a higher high, and then you have a move down that takes out the first swing low. So this essentially here, you know, we're in an uptrend. And then when you have this break that breaks the structure and also broke this trend line, if you can see, we had this trend line and then we broke it. Whenever you break trend lines, something to be aware of. If, you know, if you're long something and you break a trend line, that eh, may be a good time to take some profits. But if you're not, you may look for a short. So again, we have a high followed by a higher high. And then when that higher high happens, I always look to the left. Where's my first swing low? Well, it's right here. And then we had a bit soon after we broke the trend line, we had a big breakdown. And so now the high and the low of that highest bar up before you broke structure. So we broke structure here. I looked to the left. Where's the highest up close? Here it is between uh, 480.83 and 480.11. So now this, if the price comes back up into this bar, this bearish order block, I know it doesn't look bearish. It looks bullish, right? But it's the highest up close before you break market structure to the downside. Now that a lot of times, not always, but more times than not, that is going to act as resistance if you get back here. And one of the strange things about trading and price action is once you break structure to the downside, you almost always have a counter rally back before it head, heads back down. That's kind of the natural flow. Same thing if you break market structure to the upside. A lot of times, as soon as you break market structure to the upside, you'll pull back before you have a longer leg up. And so this is the opposite. We have a market structure break to the downside followed by a rally back into the order block. And that's why I highlighted this here in the red. So I got short here when price action came back right about into the middle of this bearish order block. I got short at 480.39. Now, as soon as I get short, first thing I do and that I would recommend, you always want to think about the loss first. Well, I take my entry price, I add the value of two ATRs above it. This is my emergency stop. So no matter what happens, if the next bar just takes off like a rocket ship and it gets up to this two ATR, I'm out of the trade, no questions asked. Now, fortunately, that only happens about 5% of the time. The other 95% of the time, if I have a loss, it is going to be taking out the high of this order block. Any close above this order block here would simply have gotten me out of the trade. So two ATR emergency stop above, and because this is a bearish order block, my end bar stop is simply a close above the high of that order block. Now, my maximum loss here is two ATR. So I wanna have an asymmetrical risk to reward ratio, meaning that if I'm risking two ATRs to the upside, in my worst case scenario, I wanna make at least four ATRs to the downside. So I have a two times risk to reward. And so that's exactly what happened. So one of four things is gonna happen. One, I'm gonna hit my emergency stop. Two, I'm gonna hit my end up bar stop. Three, I'm gonna hit my profit target. And four, it's 
not going to trigger any of those and the end of the day will run out and maybe I'll have a little loss, maybe I'll have a little gain. But fortunately, this one uh, did reach my profit target of four ATRs and it, it did it rather quickly. These are three minute bars. So, you know, it's about a half an hour and I did hit the profit target there at 478.55 and I got short at 480.39. So these are three minute bars. So not huge uh, uh, percentages or anything like that, but still it was 1.82 points on the queues, about 0.38%, but pretty dang good uh, for uh, less than a half hour. And as we were coming down here, I was like, oh man, I hope it hits there because we're getting near a 30 RSI. And if we get near a 30 RSI, most likely we will bounce. And so it did go a little bit lower, uh, but you know, I want to take you through. So that was the trade, really good, nice trade, but then look what happened. We had another rally. Good thing I got out Hit my profit target. We came back up into the order block. Look at this bar here. It tried to close above that order block, but at the end of the bar, it closed back below. And then it kind of moved sideways here, and then it moved uh, down again. So you can see, I got short here, but in the future, as soon as we got back into that order block, it failed again. Um, so I hope you found value in this. If you have any comments or questions, let me know, uh, if, uh, uh, you like this video and you did find value in it, I really would appreciate it if you could hit the thumbs up button it really does help out the channel. And, uh, if you'd like to learn more about, uh, my trading, uh, I have three options for you. Uh, first of all, I do have a podcast on every Saturday on YouTube where I go over all the, uh, swing trades that I've made on the daily and the weekly charts. We talk about when I got in it, why I got in it, what was the strategy, what was the setup, and then most importantly, how I managed the trade going forward. And uh, that podcast is about an hour, so I go, you know, I can go into a lot more detail about things that I do. So that's one way. Uh, second way is if uh, I have a great online video at udemy.com, the links in the description. It's a great course. It's like 4.9 stars, I believe. It's super affordable. And I teach you step-by-step -step how to trade the deep dip buy stock trading strategy. And I've sold so many around the world, so, so, such good food feedback. And it really is quite affordable. I think it's somewhere between 40 and $50 is where they're pricing it now. But um, that's a good, great, affordable way to have a really good video lesson of one of the approaches that I use. I use about seven or eight of them now, but for one of them, that's a really good place to start. And then third, if you would like to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, I do teach private one-on-one -on -one lessons in the evening time. I teach a 15-hour course where I take you through all the different approaches that I use. I teach you step-by-step -step how to use them. And when you're done with that course, I promise you, you're gonna be a much better trader. You're gonna have a lot of tools uh, at your disposal. I've been trading almost 29 years now, and I share everything uh, that I do for a living with you in those lessons. And one on one's the best way to learn, anyway. So, uh, anyway, I hope you found this helpful, everyone. If you have any comments or questions, put them down in that section, and I'll do my best to get back. But uh, I hope you have a really good day, and uh, uh, hopefully, um, we'll see what happens tomorrow, and I'll have a good trade to share with you as well. Thanks a lot, everyone. Take care. Bye bye. U.S. Government Required Disclaimer Stock, options, futures, and forex trading is not appropriate for everyone. While there is a potential for large rewards, there is also a substantial risk of loss associated with trading. The material in this video or live broadcast is not geared towards any particular individual or to any particular financial situation and is not intended to meet the particular investment objectives of any viewer. This video or live broadcast, like all instructional materials produced by Gossett Trading and Mentoring LLC, is created and published for informational and educational Hey everybody, this is Greg Gossett from Gossett Trading and Mentoring. Any and thank you so much for coming by and visiting in, implied, or referenced by this video or live broadcast is not to be construed as investment advice and no representation is made that any individual or entity involved in production of this video or live broadcast is an investment or financial advisor or is registered or authorized to give any financial advice. We are publishers and educators only. 
Therefore, the various producers of this video or live broadcast will not accept liability for any loss or damage of any kind which may arise either directly or indirectly out of the use of any of this material, including any loss of profit. No representation is made that any account or investment will or is likely to achieve the profit or losses demonstrated. We recommend consultation with a licensed and qualified professional before making any investment decision. This video or live broadcast is not to be construed as an offer to buy or sell any security, financial instrument, or financial product of any kind. Notice is hereby given that any individual or entity involved in production of this video or live broadcast or their clients may have an interest in any security, financial instrument, or financial product mentioned or referenced. Any simulated or hypothetical performance result depicted does not represent actual trading and therefore may under or overcompensate for the impact of various market factors such as lack of liquidity. Thank you.